Hey everyone, in this Great Lakes prepping video, I'm going to be reviewing Bega canned processed cheese. Uh, I've been waiting a little while to get my hands on one of these cans. I ordered it from a company and they suddenly had it on back order. And after about a month, they sent me an email and said they were having problems with their supplier or their, their uh, shipping company or something and they just weren't going to get it in. So I ended up buying a can from Amazon for about, I think this was about $7, a little more than I'd like to spend on a can of anything, but it's in the name of, of uh, experimenting and sampling and seeing maybe some viable options for long-term storage. And unless you're gonna make cheese yourself, there's not a whole lot of options for uh, cheese that can store a very long time. Um, especially the kind that you would buy from a store. So, uh, you know, I've heard a lot of things about, about this Bega cheese. I've never tried it. Uh, the label says the great Australian cheese. And I'm, I'm expecting it to be something maybe along the lines of uh, American cheese slices, except uh, in a big, in a big uh, disc, I guess. So I'm gonna open this thing up and see what we have. Well, I guess that's about what I expected it to look like. Let's see if there's a good way to get this out of the can. Uh, I wonder, I might have to open the bottom of the can too and sort of push it out, but let's see if it'll fall out. No, maybe not so much. Here's what I'll do. become one with the can. I'm a little worried how it's going to tear apart if I push on this thing too hard. So let me gently kind of work it out of this thing. So that's what we have. I don't know. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty squishy. It actually, it smells like Velveeta cheese or I guess something along those lines. It's certainly not real cheese but I guess what we're going for is something that maybe will taste kind of like cheese and maybe go well on a cracker so that's exactly what I'm gonna do I guess I'm just gonna sort of slice this thing in half and maybe cut off a few little wedges here it's pretty soft obviously it hasn't been in the refrigerator it's it really is maybe just a little more dense than Velveeta cheese if you're familiar with that or if you could get American cheese that wasn't sliced I guess it might be something kind of like that I've got a, a sniffing dog nose here right next to me so I think she's pretty intrigued in what I'm doing I don't know I don't have real high hopes because I don't like Velveeta cheese and I only sort of like sliced American cheese. Hmm. Yeah. My first impression is that I don't really like it. <laughs> it has a cheese-like flavor, but If they took a lump of Velveeta and tried to make it taste just slightly like Swiss cheese, I guess that's maybe kind of how this would taste. Mm. I'm not a fan of this so far. The texture is, it just, it feels like something that's not food. It feels like I'm eating uh, some kind of commercial building material or something like insulation foam or, 
or something. I don't know. It's like a cross between gritty and smooth, which doesn't even make sense. Maybe that's what concerns me. I'll try it on a little uh, club cracker here. Maybe that'll even out the taste a little bit. I do like that better. The piece of processed cheese by itself was just a little overwhelming. Balanced out with some cracker, it's not nearly as bad. Hmm. Yeah, I don't despise that on the cracker. It's way better when you combine it with something like that. I don't know how this would be in any other in any other use if it could be melted down like Velveeta and turned into some kind of a dip or a spread. I tell you, I've, I don't think there's any way that I'm going to eat all the rest of this that I haven't sliced up yet. Um, I hate to waste food, but I go into these taste tests understanding that it's something I've never had before, so there's definitely a chance that I'm, I'm going to really dislike it. I think I say this about almost everything that I review, but I'd probably be happy to have this if it had been six months since I'd eaten any kind of a piece of cheese. This might seem like quite the treat. I don't know. Try it out on some of my uh, pilot bread here that I reviewed in a different video. Actually, maybe I'll try a piece with this cheese. Let's try a little slab of this. Uh, maybe I'll go with a smaller slice of cheese. Try a little bit of this pilot bread. Well, I guess that's not bad. I didn't love the pilot bread because it was a little too bland. And I don't love this baked cheese because it's a little too overpowering. So the two together actually kind of work all right. Well, yeah, all right, I have a way better impression of it than at first when I just ate the cheese by itself. I still prefer it on the club cracker over the pilot bread, but I guess that's that's not too surprising because a club cracker by itself is way tastier than a piece of pilot bread by itself. Well, I don't think I'll slice up any more of this and, and eat it like this, but I'm a little curious to see if it would make some kind of dip, kind of like, uh, what's that, um, salsa queso dip that's popular to make with um, a brick of Velveeta and some salsa or a can of that Rotel tomato stuff. Maybe I'll try that out. I have some salsa. I could just melt a little bit of this and a little bit of that and might be pretty good to put some tortilla chips in. Obviously I wouldn't go out of my way to do that. If uh, we're talking about a endo civilization kind of thing but in the name of not wasting the rest of this uh, $7 can of fake cheese, maybe I'll do that. So yeah, I guess that's it. I don't have a whole lot more to say about it. If you've tried this bag of cheese, let me know what your impression was. Uh, sometimes I don't know if I have the words to properly describe my experience or my, uh, my take on some food, but I don't know. Let me know what you thought if you've tried it. And I guess that's it for now. So, 
Until next time, this is Great Lakes Prepping. You like it? Looks pretty good. You're making that. You're making that face that you're <laughs> that you're not so sure. <laughs> yeah, you're making that face when you got something taste in your mouth that you don't know about. <laughs> Still pretty good. Okay.